Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today we're going to go over the 2016 Sport Trek 302 Toy Hauler. It's going to be excellent construction because it is going to be the Sport Trek. We're going to have a 10-foot garage, a slide on there, everything you're going to want in a toy hauler. Let's take a look. Right up front here, you're going to have your power tongue jack, super simple to use. It's also going to have a light up here in case you are hooking up or disconnecting at night, and you're going to have a level on here as well. Right behind that is going to be our propane tank cover with two 20-pound propane tanks in there. Nice and easy to go ahead and access those. Then behind that, we're going to have our diamond plating. So you're going to have the uh, black diamond plating on here, which is going to help any uh, rocks or anything that get thrown up from your tow vehicle. It's going to help make sure your fiberglass stays nice and doesn't get chipped up. So beautiful front end on there, uh, good looking graphics. You're also going to have a light there again, which is going to aid you at night if you are hooking up or disconnecting. Take a look at our pass-through storage. You'll notice right up top here, your hinges are going to be covered. Make sure they don't rust up on you. And we look in there, big pass-through storage, just great. Going to have an LED light in there as well. As we look underneath, one of the things I do like to point out, this unit is going to have the BAL frame, which is a huck bolt construction frame. So it's going to be a lot stronger and sturdier frame. And also if it does get any damage, it's going to be a lot easier to repair. It's also going to have your BAL jacks on there, which are going to take about half the turns of your standard jacks. So that's great again when you are setting up. Getting into the main portion of the coach is an absolute breeze. You'll see you have two doors. This is going to get you in the living portion. That one, of course, will take you into the garage portion. But take a look at how low that first step is. They don't need it there, but it's awesome. Just because in case you do have bad knees, makes a nice first step really easy. And then, of course, you'll have your grab rail right here in order to aid you getting into the coach. Again, nice and easy to get in, just like that. One, two, good to go. Right up top, you're going to have your power awning right there. If you take a look, it's going to span over both doors, which is great because that way, if you are coming outside and it's raining, you're not going to get a bunch of water dumped on you, so it's exactly where you want it. Nice big awning as well, so you get this whole space in between here where you can set up camp. You're also going to have marine grade speakers underneath that. Now, if you want to sit out here and listen to music, those are going to be controlled by your multimedia center inside. However, it is going to be Bluetooth capable. So if you do have a cellular device or maybe something like an iPod, you can connect to that wirelessly via Bluetooth and be able to control that from out here, which is fantastic. Right over here, also, if you want an outside TV, you do have hookups. So you have two individual plug-ins right here, as well as your cable hookup right there. And again, perfectly, uh, perfectly placed right underneath that awning. You can move back, of course, you'll have your aluminum wheels on there. Those are going to have uh, easy lube axles as well. Second entrance, again, just as easy to get in as the first. You're going to have your three steps right here. As we continue to move back, this will be one of our two vents. That way, any kind of exhaust or fumes can easily be vented out of that back garage. Here, of course, is going to be our uh, tail uh, and ramp. Right up top, I do want to point out, this unit is going to be pre-wired for a backup camera. So if you do want a backup camera, it's an absolute breeze to install. Of course, you'll also have a light uh, back there in case you are loading up your toys at night. I'll show you that in just a second, but first let's come right over here. Here's going to be our second vent that I mentioned. This one's going to be the higher up there. And then right here is going to be a, a nice uh, cluster. We'll have our outside shower, which is going to have hot and cold access, fresh water connection, of course, here, satellite and cable hookups. And I really like this. It is going to be ZAMP solar ready. So all you have to do is buy your ZAMP solar panels, plug them in right there, and you're good to go for your solar. Of course, we'll have detachable power cord. Right underneath that's going to be our black tank flush. That way you don't have to bring a hose in and put it down the toilet when you're done camping to wash out that black tank. Just hook your hose up right here and it'll do the rest for you. There's going to be sprayers built in there to wash it out. Let's come around right over, right out back here and I'll show you how this drops down. Really neat handles, really easy system. You're just going to lift this up. You're going to turn it to the side. You'll do that on both sides. And then your ramp is just going to come right down like so. Nice and easy. One of the things I really like they did on the ramp is this right here. You get the diamond plating. Most manufacturers don't do this. You have this really big uh, bump you have to get up or you have to bring something else in order to make that an easy transition. Not with Sport Trek. Right there they have the diamond plating so it's nice and easy to come up. Same thing right here. 
So it's going to be fantastic, super simple to go inside. This of course is going to be angled down to make sure when you're coming up you're not going to bump your head or anything right up here. Also, right here is going to be our screen, so that just pulls down, pull it all the way down to the floor, locks in place, awesome to have that, and then of course that's just going to roll right back up for you. So right here is going to be our power bed system, that is the Happy Jack power bed. Control is going to be right up here, nice and simple to use, just touch of a button of course and that will lower down for you as well as raise back up. That way if you need place for uh, the kids to sleep or additional guests, you have that queen bed right there which is awesome. You'll tie downs on the floor here, you'll notice you have eight tie downs which are going to be strategically placed so that way whether you have a quad, bikes, whatever it may be, they're going to be in the perfect locations you want in order of course to tie everything down. This is our second door that I showed you when we were uh, on, on the other side there. That way if you want to come right into the garage you can certainly do that. Right up front here, you get extra uh, storage space right here, which is perfect if you have like motorcycle helmets, something like that. You can come in, just pull the net down, put them in here. The net, of course, is going to keep them in while you're going down the road. Also, right here is going to be our hanging rod for any of your jackets or anything else you want to hang up. The thing I like they did is they use this system instead of a standard rod. That way, when you put your hangers in here, they're not going to slide and bounce and fall all over. They're going to make sure they're going to stay right in there. If you do want a TV in the back, that's not a problem. You can take a look right up here you'll see that you're gonna have TV connections right there which is great of course you'll also have uh, AC ducted back here as well as a vent that's gonna be right above the bed in case you don't want to run the AC now right here is gonna be our door let's go take a look at the living portion of the coach in our bathroom we have a ton of storage and that's gonna start right here with our huge linen closet so great storage right there you're gonna have a mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind that Right here on the wall you're going to have your plug-in as well as your tank monitoring system and your max fan control as that is going to control your fan which does have a rain sensor. Right here is going to be our sink with plenty of countertop space and again more storage right underneath the sink. Right over here is going to be our stool, again we have plenty of leg room there, and then you're going to get your tub shower with excellent shelving space, you're going to have your hand wand and a ton of ceiling height so you don't have to worry about uh, being too tall and hitting the ceiling. Also right up top there like I mentioned there's your max fan, of course you're going to have AC in here, all LED lights throughout the coach. Let's go ahead and step into the main living area. So right here is going to be our entertainment center, a beautiful entertainment center. You have a huge space here for the TV which is great so you're not going to be stuck with a really small TV. Of course we'll have our thermostat right here. Excellent storage up top so you get great storage right up there. You have a shelf here, you also get additional storage underneath. Now right here is going to be our multimedia center. I did touch on that a tad bit when I was outside. Like I mentioned, this is going to be Bluetooth capable. You'll have your different speaker zones right here. This is also going to be a DVD player. So when you have your TV there, you can pop a DVD in. If you want to sit back and relax and watch a movie, you can certainly do that. Now you're going to have a couple seats in which you can do that. One is going to be right here in our nice large u dinette. I love the size of this u dinette. It's huge. Look how long this table is. That way you can fit the whole family around it and really enjoy a meal. This is going to be the black diamond interior. It's going to have a really nice color palette, kind of uh, light and dark that are contrast, just looks really sharp. Underneath you also get additional storage. You'll get a drawer right here, power cord of course, that is detachable. And then right over here you're going to have additional storage. Right there is going to be our cushion that is going to help fill in for the bed when you drop this down. So you'll see you have rails right here, these posts come out table goes down, you get a nice large extra sleeping space. So not only do you get the bed in the garage, you get the u dinette for sleeping, and we're going to have our Murphy bed. Now I know what you're thinking when you hear Murphy bed, a lot of people freak out, I don't want a Murphy bed. I'm here to tell you, Sport Trek has mastered it, it's an awesome Murphy bed, super simple, works very well, let me show you. So right here of course we're going to have our sofa, again which is awesome because it's an extra place to sit besides the u dinette, perfect shot to the TV. Underneath you're going to have excellent storage there too. So you get an extra seat, you get great storage. This just lifts up, drops down just like so. Super nice and easy. Right here we'll go ahead and pull this pin down. We drop this down. It's literally one 
and two. And that's all there is to it, folks. There's your bed, it's made, it's super easy to do, it's comfortable, you're not gonna feel the seams in here, which is awesome. You're gonna have an extra reading light up top here in case you wanna read, but it's gonna make it a very, very versatile space. Also, if you do want a full-length queen, uh, Sport Trek does include this foam piece right here. You can just pull the bed down, drop that in at the header, and then you're going to have a full 80 inch queen, just in case you are going to be a taller person. But again, I love the Murphy bed because it gives you that option. You have the bed, you have the couch. If you never want to leave it in the couch or make it into a bed, by all means do so, but I just love having the versatility. Both sides here, you're going to have hanging wardrobe. You can see your hanging rod there. Nice, long, tall wardrobes here too. So you can fit uh, jackets or anything else, dresses in there without having to worry about them crumpling up at the bottom. And then you're also going to get great storage there up top. Both sides, you will also have additional shelving space and both sides are gonna have electrical outlets. So if you need to charge your uh, cellular device or maybe you have a CPAP machine, you can sleep on either side of the bed. Now as we take a look at our kitchen here, you do get some storage right as soon as you walk in the door right there. You see your hose down there, that's gonna be for winterization, makes it nice and easy for you. And then huge countertop space, nice large countertop all around the sink here, which is awesome. They give you the sink top cover, so that can be extra usable space. We'll go ahead and take those off. You can take a look at our sink here. Gonna have double bowl sink, nice large bowl on the left, smaller bowl on the right, makes it easy for doing dishes, especially when you have your high rise faucet on here. So underneath, again, you get more storage right here. Perfect place for a trash can right there in case you're looking for places. This is gonna be a drop down sponge tray right there. And you will have a bank of three full extension drawers. Also, right over here, you can open this up. This is gonna be great access. So it's nice and simple. There's gonna be your uh, water heater. But again, just great access to that. To try to make it as easy as possible for you. So you're gonna have your oven right here, as well as your three burner stove top here. Of course, our hood with light and fan, microwave, and additional storage right up top. Take a look at that. I love they have the shelves built in as well. Just makes it a very usable space for you, so you don't, so you can fit everything in there you're gonna to want to. Last but not least, right over here is going to be our Norcold eight cubic foot fridge and freezer. You get a ton of room here. You get some adjustable shelving. Uh, this is gonna run off both LP and electric, and it's going to have automatic switch over for you. The other thing I love about the Norcold, right here you can go ahead and adjust the setting as far as how cold you want it. Makes it nice and easy to use. All right, folks, thanks for joining me. Again, this is a Sport Trek. It's a 302 toy hauler. Fantastic floor plan. You get a slide, you get great living space. The Murphy bed is extremely versatile. 10 foot garage with, with the screen. You get the dr uh, drop down power bed. Just everything you're going to want in a toy hauler. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those on the video below, or you can give me a call here at American RV and I'll be happy to answer them that way as well. Thanks for joining. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.